Hi everyone, it's the Warrior here. I'm making this vid as a tribute to Grandmaster Jean Guri, who sadly passed away on April the 30th. Grandmaster Jean Guri was one of the earliest pioneers of Taekwondo and he is known as the flag of American Taekwondo. Ri Jun Gu was born in Korea during the Japanese occupation on the 7th of January 1932. Known as Jun Ri, he introduced Korean martial arts to the USA when he emigrated there in the late 1950s. Grandmaster Ri first started to learn martial arts at age 13 at the Chon Do Kwan. He was instructed by Colonel Nan Tae Hai, one of the original masters and pioneers of Taekwondo. Grandmaster Jun Ri is said to have had a reverse punch and turning kick that were nearly unstoppable. He could smash boards and tiles with either technique. That, along with his strength, balance and flexibility, showed he was an awesome athlete. However, it wasn't always that way. Grandmaster Ri himself said he was the smallest, weakest and most uncoordinated kid in school. But of course, all that changed. By 1957, Grandmaster Ri moved to America and first settled in San Antonio where he opened a martial arts school. At the time, he called his style Korean Karate. This was because Americans were familiar with karate, but virtually no one had heard of Taekwondo at that time. In 1960, General Choi Hong Kai visited Grandmaster Ri in America and convinced him to call his style Taekwondo. They both agreed that calling it Taekwondo gave a sense of freedom and independence, as well as respect for the Korean homeland. This meant that Grandmaster Root was officially the first Taekwondo instructor in the USA. In 1962, Grandmaster Root moved to Washington, D.C. and for a brief period worked as an assistant in a karate school, but later went on to open his own schools in Washington, D.C. Grandmaster Ri became very successful and recruited many students. He has taught more than 350 US Senators and Congress representatives, including Jesse Jackson and Joe Biden. In 1964, Grandmaster Ri met Bruce Lee at Ed Parker's International Karate Championship in Long Beach, California. They became friends and regularly discussed martial arts. Grandmaster Ru credits Bruce Lee for teaching him more effective hand techniques that don't telegraph his intentions. Although not confirmed, many have said that Grandmaster Ru also taught a few Taekwondo kicks to Bruce Lee. Grandmaster Jun Ru was also credited with teaching Muhammad Ali the acupunch. The acupunch is described as a blow that's done instantly with no thought. Muhammad Ali said he used the punch in 1975 to knock out UK heavyweight champ Richard Dunn in under two minutes. In the 1973 Raymond Chow film, When Taekwondo Strikes, set during the Japanese occupation of Korea, Grandmaster Jun Ri had a lead role. Grandmaster Ri demonstrated his Taekwondo skills on the big screen while portraying a leader of the resistance. Grandmaster Ri created and developed martial arts ballet, which is martial arts movement in time with music. He actually incorporated martial arts ballet into the syllabus he developed for his schools. Grandmaster Ri is also said to be the creator of foam safety equipment that is still widely used for sparring in various martial arts. On January 9th, 1991, Grandmaster Jun Ri began 11 days of seminars in Moscow. He taught for 18 hours a day with little rest or free time. On the final day, he sat down with 87 martial artists and conducted a 15-hour question and answer session in which he answered all questions. On April 10, 2007, Jun Ri addressed an assembly of world leaders at United Nations and gave a moving speech. Its title was Mending Our Troubled World with Martial Arts Philosophy of Action. 
He spoke about the need for vision and suggested that sight without vision is worse than being blind. Dan Mastery also outlined his golden rules of teaching. Lead by example and never fail to correct students' mistakes with a smile. Grandmaster is listed in the Taekwondo Hall of Fame as the father of American and Russian Taekwondo. He is also listed as a pioneer of Taekwondo in Grandmaster CK Toy's list of Taekwondo pioneers. Grandmaster Ree's passing is a sad loss to the martial art community and martial artists around the world will be mourning his passing and paying tribute to his achievements. That's the end of my tribute. Thanks for watching. Rest in peace, Master Ree Jungu.